Hi, and welcome to today's video. Today, I wanted to do a quick video on how I'm actually going to do my kids' advent calendars this year. Um, usually, I'll just go to the shop and I'll get um, just like a character one um, or like a Maltese or a mask, whatever it is that they um, want. Um, and I wanted to do something a little bit different this year, something that was a little bit more decorative, um, I suppose in a way kind of a little bit more fun. So I decided that I was going to go and get some of these stockings. So they're just on. Some, uh, some felt actually, the little pegs. And they just hang on the string. And you can just fill. No, uh, so you can just take. So you can just take them off, and just fill each one with some treats, and then hang them back on the felt. So <clears throat> I kind of decided last minute that this was what I was going to do. So I've had to kind of be. Um, just kind of really quick in what I put in it, um, just grabbing something. I just went to the power shop and just grabbed some sweets. But I'd actually like your help for next year in giving me some kind of ideas of what I could put in it that isn't necessarily sweets. Um, I actually just watched a video yesterday, um, Missy Lanning had put on her channel that she's done um, an advent calendar for her little boy Oliver, who's three. And hers is um, a barbell um, that unscrews and she has put a little bit of um, a treat in it but it was mainly about giving back um, and I quite like that, you know, things like donating to um, a food bank, um, donating a toy to somebody that's not gonna, that doesn't have a lot, donating books to the library, um, doing chores, holding a door open, things like that. And I thought that was a really nice um, way of doing things. But yeah, I would like some ideas of what I could kind of put in. They are only quite small, so I can't put anything too bulky in. Um, and something that's gonna be too weighted because I don't want it, want it up to be falling down. But I'll show you what I've got to put in it for this year. So I got some, these are just some little candy canes. And I'll just open it up. So they're just really small candy canes that you can put in. Now I only have um, two of my boys that actually like candy canes. My eldest doesn't like candy canes. They don't like rock or anything like that. Um, and I was kind of thinking maybe not to be giving that to my little girl either. But um, they both do like lollipops. So I've just got these real, these are really small. Sorry, this is a bit noisy. They are just really small little lollipops. So I thought they'd be quite nice to just um, get them some little lollipops that I can put in for them too. While well, the other two have candy canes. The other things I got, these are just, they're just little chocolate balls. But they're wrapped, the wrapper has, it's a Christmas pudding. So I thought I could put them in for one. And then these are just some little Santas that I can put in. And then the, other, the last thing I've got were just some chocolate coins. Oh, just some chocolate coins and um, some milk chocolate and some white chocolate. Um, so I'm just going to fill them up and then hang them up and they can just uh, pick out each day. Usually I'd actually have um, them up by now being today, being the 1st of December. But I, I really wanted to do this quick video. So I said to them, don't worry, it'll be done for when you come home from school. So when my little girl's napping, I thought I'll just do this quick video, get them filled up and get it hung up. I'll take a picture once it's hung up so you can see what it looks like all up. And I'll, I'll post it at the end. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, like if you want to, subscribe if you want to. Leave a comment, like I say, with any of your ideas. Um, let me know how maybe you do your advent calendars for your kids um, that may be different to how I do mine. Thank you very much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.